In our selfie-obsessed times, we love photos. They're the perfect way to immortalize our weddings, remember our vacations, or most importantly of all, tell our 14 Instagram followers how good spaghetti can look if you whack a filter on it. But sometimes, photos have hidden secrets we only spot on a second or third look. From a woman hiding under a seat to the ghost of a child, these creepy photos are freaking people out. Let's begin. Huh? Hmm. Number 10. The Watcher Among those who regularly seek out evidence of the paranormal, there are various different stories of Watchers of some kind. Whether it be the Men in Black, the Illuminati, or alien-like overlords who watch over our every movement, there are those convinced that the life of humans is nothing but a soap opera being observed by a legion of omnipotent observers. This idea dates back to as early as the 1st century BCE, where the apocryphal Book of Enoch alludes to entities known as Watchers. These angel-like creatures are dispatched to Earth from another plane to watch over the humans, but must never intervene. Marvel Comics even has its own version of the Watcher's concept, a fleet of fictional extraterrestrials created by Jack Kirby and Stan Lee who sit back and watch the events of the comics unfold. Of course, in real life, watching somebody you don't know from a distance doesn't make you an all-seeing angel or an awesome alien, it makes you a creep. And that's what we have in this photo, a real creepy dude. The two girls were taking a nice wholesome selfie together, and there, lingering in the lower left corner, is some strange creep watching them. But then again, maybe he is an angelic watcher. In the original mythology, the Book of Enoch does state that the watchers, as an order, fell because they began to lust for human women. So what's going on here? Is the dude in the left-hand corner an angelic watcher who could no longer resist his urges and has descended onto the human plane to lech over women? Or is it just a creepy dude called Kevin? Number 9. Reverse Reflection What a lovely family photo this is, right? Right? It is quite lovely, but it comes with one very evident twist. Don't look at the family, look at the mirror behind them. This is when things start to get a little off, a little bit strange, a little bit creepy. Look at the mom's reflection. Now, maybe I'm wrong, I'm not the most intelligent man in the world, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, I'd go so far as to call myself a spoon. But her reflection doesn't even seem to be working the way a reflection is supposed to work. Now, there's every chance that what's going on here is nothing but Photoshop. It's a strong possibility. People sure do love doctoring photos to mess with the heads of believers. But if it's not Photoshop, what is going on here? Number 8. The Overzealous Superfan Rihanna is one of the single biggest and most talented pop stars in the world right now. Katy Perry also exists. Here, the two of them are at some kind of celebrity function together, enjoying each other's company, having fun, when an eager paparazzo snaps a sneaky shot of the pair of them. Many celebrities, understandably, get quite frustrated with losing their privacy to vulture-like photographers. But these two may be glad he was there, because in an attempt to get a snap of them, he also got a snap of something else. Take a look underneath Katy Perry's chair. There appears to be someone lingering, hiding, desperately trying to get close to these two women. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a hardcore fan of someone or something. There's nothing wrong with being a super fan at all. I'm such a hardcore Trekkie, I once broke into Patrick Stewart's house and licked his bald head. But hiding underneath somebody's chair? That's just 8,000 degrees of creepy. Uh, sorry, can I just say, I didn't lick Patrick Stewart's head. The writer's making me say stupid stuff because I ate the last of the donuts and he knows that I have to say whatever he writes, some kind of power trip. I swear I didn't lick Patrick Stewart's head. Number 7. Ghost Near the Machine Now, this one's causing a lot of debate. A bit like how the jury had to debate how long I would get in prison for breaking into Sir Patrick Stewart's house and licking it. Oh, come on! Okay, this picture has got everyone talking. And why? Because not everyone can see what's so creepy about it. At first glimpse, it's nothing but a freeloader on a construction site. Nothing out of the ordinary there, but take a closer look. Really press your eyes up against the screen. Many, many people insist that there, in front of the foremost tire, you can clearly see the ghost of a child. But other people, no matter how long they stare at the photo, just can't see it. We've had a lot of debate here among the team. Some of us can see it and some of us can't. What about you? Number six, Ghost in the Park. And it's not the only time a strange translucent figure has been caught on camera, as this photo of a children's set will testify. It's a foggy day, the damp is in the air. This once joy-inducing children's play park has been swallowed up by the bad weather. And as anyone who's a keen ghost hunter will know, this is when the spirits are most likely to come out to play. 
There, lingering by one of the posts, is a creepy and macabre figure. What's it doing? Lingering and loitering? Is it haunting the park, or is it merely here to have a go on the swing set? And if it is haunting the area, what does it want with a children's playset? Or is it merely the ghost of a child who can't move on until he's had one last night of fun? We, as people, love to connect the dots between unconnected events and fill in our own stories, so hear me out. Is there a chance that this is the same ghost from the previous image? Was this, once upon a time, an innocent child crushed by a rogue freeloader at a construction site? In the first image, did we see the ghost at his place of death? And in this second image, is this the same ghost finally getting one last day of fun before it moves into the spirit world? We may never know the truth. But if there's one thing these two photos make clear, it's that the world is infinitely more complex and mysterious than any one man or woman can ever really truly understand. There are truly dark and creepy things out there, including me, because I break into celebrities' houses and lick their head. How is this not libel at this point? I will not read the rest of the script if you keep doing that joke, Brian. Number five, a family sat on a man. We've all been a part of those awkward family photos. You know the ones. Your mom makes everyone gather around, y'all sit there in a huddle. It's awkward at the time, maybe even a little embarrassing. But it's worth it in the end because those precious memories can be so heartwarming to look back on. Now, I don't know about you, maybe my family is different, but when I've looked back on family photos a couple years after, I've never spotted that me and my siblings were all sat on a man. Take a closer look at the sofa. This cute little family are 100% sitting on a man. Now, maybe they knew he was there. Maybe this is a lovely little family inside joke. Maybe that's Uncle Terry. Maybe they just sit on Uncle Terry now and again. But if there's even a 1% chance that they had no idea that man was there, then this photo is 80,000 shades of creepy. Number four, Slender Man at the Picnic. Although the title we've given this one may sound like a horrifically macabre children's picture book, this is very real. This girl's just hanging out on a picnic table at night. We don't know who took the photo, but the nature of it suggests she's having fun. Maybe she's up late with a date or a friend. Whoever it was, they grabbed this lovely photo of her hanging out on the park bench. If it was a friend, the photo could have been a lovely little memento of a fun night out. Or if it was a date, the photo could have been a heartwarming reminder of a special time in their lives. But unfortunately, it will never be either of those things. All it ever will be is a terrifying insight into the world of the paranormal. Because little did either of them realize, something was looming in the background. Something creepy, something strange, something that almost looks like it could be none other than the infamous Slender Man himself. And if it was, this young lady had a seriously lucky escape. Stories of the Slender Man commonly feature him stalking, abducting, or traumatizing people, particularly children. And the figure in the background of the photo here certainly matches the most common descriptions of the Slender Man. A thin, unnaturally tall humanoid with a featureless head and face and wearing a black suit. Or maybe what we have here, to call back to the first item on our list, is yet another fallen watcher. With the way he's staring at the poor young girl, there's certainly a chance. Number 3. An Earful there are many societies, many religions the world over that believe in reincarnation. There are people who insist that in a past life they were Genghis Khan or George Lucas or Amelia Earhart or Marie Curie. For example, in my past life I was a cannibal. That's why I broke into Sir Patrick Stewart's house and- Oh, come on! Brian. Anyway, it seems that one person may have had the strangest reincarnation of all time if this next photo is to be believed. Before I explain, here's the backstory. A family decided to go on an epic once-in-a-lifetime holiday to Africa. They embarked on an epic safari and snapped photo after photo of gorgeous animals. But this photo of an elephant is the one that caught their attention. And after posting it online, a lot of people have been freaking out about it. Look closely at the elephant's ear. It looks almost identical to a human face in profile. So here's the question. Did somebody get reincarnated as an elephant's ear? Number two. A not-so-normal selfie. Teenagers love taking selfies, and good on them. Society teaches us to hate ourselves, so anybody who finds time to enjoy what they look like is a hero in our books. Unfortunately, this confident selfie came with an unexpected and creepy element. Take a look in the girl's mirror. We hope that's Photoshop, because if not, she needs to move out of that house yesterday. Number one, can you see it? And we end on a brief but subtle one. Just like the photo of the ghost child, not everybody can see this one. This photo of a house's interior has pretty creepy lighting, but apart from that, it's normal, right? Well, give extra attention to the left. 
Can you see it? Can you see the mysterious ghostly child staring right at you? The same ghost child from the other photos? Another watcher? Photoshop? You decide. Which of these did you find the creepiest? Do you have photos of your own that have gotten under your skin? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.